do any eye application, you usually do light, medium, and dark. Even if it's a smoke, you never uh, uh, blend just black eyeshadow. It's always uh, from the lightest to the darkest in order to receive an umbrella look. So in this case, I'm not going to do heavy eyeshadows because we're going to focus on the eyeliner, cat eye, and red lips. So I'm going to do, this is my light, and I'm going to apply all over her eyelid. So tip, this is the tip, tips for wings on uneven eyelids, right? Say again? Someone asked if this is tips for wings for uneven eyelids. For uneven eyelids? Yeah, that's what someone... Just to keep eyeshadow in place, because if you don't apply any base shadow, the eyeshadows are going to crease. And if she's your broad, she's going to cry and her eyeshadows are going to smear. So in this case, your eyeshadows are brighter and you keep them for 12-15 hours. If you want a little bit shimmer, you can use your fingers with shimmer eyeshadows close. And yes, colored um, prime.
No order. I use different brushes. Uh, honestly, our philosophy uh, to be talented no matter what you have in your hands because in these days on YouTube channels they do a lot of tutorials which is great but it seems like without this brush you wouldn't be able to do your brilliant job. So buy this brush number 47 from this company. These eyeshadows from Sephora company. So it's like too overwhelming. So we have a different idea. Even with the Q-tips, even with your fingers. Can you hear the audio? Not as you. As long as you know what you're doing, right. you yeah. can buy a very cheap brushes. I've been doing makeup uh, for 11 years. On that days, we don't have those trendy things. We didn't know anything about brands. We were using what they gave us in the school. And right. we did very well. Yeah. And sometimes they have your clients have allergies. They're picky, they don't want you to use makeup forever or MAC, they want to use Chanel, they're going to ask you to use their bag, makeup bag, and here we go, you don't know what to do, no, as a talented makeup artist, you do no matter what, and the other day you have a tea party with your friends, you don't carry makeup bag uh, with you, and they are very excited to get a makeover from you, by you, and you ask them for, okay, do you have a pencil, do you have a mascara, and do your best, yeah. whatever you have in your hands. Okay, I exaggerated the small V, the lash line, then I'm going to blend again, if we need to. Then, just in case, with your eyeshadows, I'm going to check my model. And, mm -hmm, just wait. <laughs> Anymore. So now I'm gonna do eyeliner by Inkblot, which is not super expensive, but um, it's, a, it's very flat. So which one are you using? Um, Inkblot. Inkblot. Oh, Inkblot. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna grab some more guys. Would you like some water? Yeah. Lots of makeup artists. They do. Mascara first, then eyelashes. They do eyeliner, then eyelashes. Maybe if you're struggling where to place eyelashes, you can do eyeliner first, then from the moment you have a liner, you know where to place it. But I do differently. I do eyelashes first, then I do, I cover eyelashes with gel eyeliner, and then I do mascara to stick her own lashes with the false lashes. But every artist does differently. You learn from different people and you find your own way. Even if you are from the same school, you're always gonna have your own style because we're all unique and we have our own uh, perspective about beauty. Since it's uh, an artistic job. Yeah, someone asked if there's any waterproof liner that doesn't smudge. You can use a uh, dual line by Inglot. This is product which ma which makes any product waterproof. Okay. So it's a dual line oil. Uh, Makeup Forever has waterproof. Oh, thanks. I, uh, I'm looking for eyelashes. I don't see them. Uh -huh. Here we go. I'm gonna apply false lashes. Not every single person uh, feel comfortable with false lashes, but if you wanna do uh, a very exaggerated transformation, it's a great option. Individuals are more often, we use individuals more often than with private clients. If it's a photo shoot or like, uh, something else, you always ask person who is in charge because uh, full slush is a little bit too overwhelming, it's too much. So in this case it's going to appear very well on the video, we're going to see a, a great transformation. I so wanted to ask a question, I have a client that she's going through chemo 
and she doesn't have any lashes, I mean, they're falling out, do you suggest um, the full lashes or individual lashes? I always prefer individual lashes. And just for the video, I'm gonna apply, and then we're gonna save some time. Oh. Down. So you can imagine before you glue them, maybe they're a little bit too long. Okay. Close. So she's fine. Now she can close. Because I want to make sure. Close, close, close. I want to make sure the uh, the glue is uh, dry. Does it have to be with um? Tweezers? Can you, you do can with finger? tweezers? Uh, I personally prefer fingers. I don't okay. feel when I use tools, I don't feel so. I need to touch the, my clients. But uh, if they're picky, I'll, of course, I can use my tweezers. So, uh, my favorite eyelashes from Dune Reed or CDS, which is like $355. They're very soft. They're not plastic. They're never going to irritate their eyes. What's the best natural lashes? Someone asked. Uh, from du individual, uh, from Dune Reed and uh, CVS. Do you know this section? They're all great. Okay. And it's three fifty five dollars and they sell a glue as well. So not necessary to buy main lashes for $50. This is my personal opinion. You can do brilliant job with eyelashes from CVS. There are so many products uh, where you can invest money, not eyelashes. And uh, not because they're expensive, they're great at CVS, they're great. We all know uh, a, a br trend uh, brands and we know how to uh, how to buy cheaper, uh, the same quality but cheaper, right? Yeah. Because makeup is very expensive. It's just uh, your clients want to see some brands on your station, but you can do your job from uh, you know, with your mom's makeup bag, right? Mm -hmm. It's just uh, take curious. They think if you're if you don't have uh, expensive uh, brands, you're not professional, and you probably you're not very popular. So, but there are some brands which I would never betray. For example, uh, Yves Saint Laurent to Chiclac concealer. It's very moisture. And it's never creasing, and it, it really does uh, the job. The pigment is very um, uh, pigmented. The um, <laughs> undertone is very pigmented. Okay, I'm going to be using. Interesting so I'm going to do on her other eye. Just let it dry. Never eyelashes because you don't want to pass microbes or and sometimes they're very picky so you behave in a professional way make sure everything is clean spray alcohol on your product spray brushes it's, uh, it's your first step then two dark and uh, on the outer corner. And then I'm going to ask my client, can you do this? So if they never tried false lashes, cheap lashes before, they're not going to feel comfortable. But if they're dealing, if they know how to deal it, they're fine because you feel them. But there is not an issue when it's hurting. So make sure it's not, uh, it's in the right place. It's not, it doesn't make your eyes smaller. So make sure it's close, close to her lash line, but not super close because you can uh, make their eyes even smaller. That's why individuals are better, especially for people who never have done it before. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say this, uh, this eye is dry, so I'm ready to go with the eyeliner. So I'm going to scoop with my spatula. I've never scooped from the eyeliner. I apply, I use this contour, and now I'm going to use um, angle brush, eyeliner brush, which is supposed to be very thin. You always can make your eyeliner bigger, but it's better to start with the very thin one and then again building because you don't know what they mean by eyeliner maybe they, they
they meant just the wing, just on the outer corner. Maybe they never get, uh, they never tried it before. For example, on myself, I never can uh, handle black eyeliner. I don't feel myself. Maybe for some people it's beautiful. So make sure you understand what what does that mean beautiful for them from their perspective. So since uh, Uliana is my model, I'm going to be doing what I want. And she has lots of space in the eyelids. So my first step, I'm going to cover the eyelashes. What about overlapping eyelids? How would you apply eyeliner? Say again? What, for overlapping eyelids, how would you apply eyeliner? Uh, guys, can you choose, uh, can you... Another word I, I don't understand. Like, for example, if you were doing um, eyeliner on someone who's Asian in the past, the Asian. Droopy eyes? Ah, Asian. not necessarily droopy, but maybe they have a different. Um, like a slanted. Uh, like for Asian eyes. For, yeah, for, for Asian, Asian eyes. eyes. Asian eyes. Obviously, you don't want to make them even more. We don't call it Asian, more monolith. So in this case, you want to go a little bit upwards. And if they have a droopy eyes, then you have to be very careful to avoid the crease. So it's a it's a long story. In this case, if they have an almond eye shape, you just uh, place wing as a continuation of the bottom line. Basically, it's right here, and you connect with the eyelid. So I'm gonna. So now I I got the idea where I'm gonna place the eyeliner, and I can go darker and I can create more perfect. But the most important part to cover the eyelashes. With the glue. What's the best way to fix if we mess up the eyeliner? Okay, I'm gonna finish the eyeliner and I'm gonna let you know. Which liner are you using? The Inglot? Inglot, yes. So if you wanted to correct the eyeliner, then you use, um, I usually use a uh, concealer brush. I remove what I don't like and then I can uh, uh, clean with the Q-tip. With concealer on it or not? Concealer, yeah. The latest news someone asked. Sorry. I think we have some pretty good news. Yes, this is Manhattan. We're in I Manhattan. apply the glue again. We are 
in Manhattan that's why it's a small space. <laughs> Someone wants to see proof of Manhattan. Hold on. California. Cool. We're from California. Okay. Do not open yet. So I want to make, I want to save my time while I'm fixing my eyelashes. I cannot apply mascara now because I have to give some time. So I'm going to cover my lips with foundation because I want to make them a little bit bigger. Well, in the Philippines. We have someone from the Philippines watching. Hi. In California. How, how much? Okay. Uh, that's a question that's kind of hard to answer. Someone asked how long the average person wears, puts up, spends putting on makeup. 40 minutes, uh, maximum 130. It depends on the makeup. Okay. And it depends on the gig. If it's a bride, it's okay if you need to spend two hours. Because they are always make themselves busier. They answer it on the phone, they're eating, they're struggling with something all the time. So two hours, it's okay. But of course, the, their schedule is always pretty tight. So if they need to, if, if they want you to finish in 15 minutes, you should be able to finish. So I'm using as a base lip liner. I do first with the lip liner the form, then I check with my client if they're happy, then I apply uh, lipstick. What color do you think is best for spring or summer? Color for what? Uh, I guess lipstick. I guess she's asking. Uh, lipstick or eyeshadows? Uh, I guess both. Uh, lipstick, lipstick. If it's a red carpet event, why not red, right? If it's a date and um, her husband uh, doesn't like red lips, then it's not definitely red. It, it could be nude. There are so many beautiful nude colors for different uh, shades, uh, different shades. We all have different undertones. We all have different, and on the summer we get a little bit uh, darker. So I would say nude for summer, especially uh, for um, morning makeup or during the day. But it doesn't mean it's invisible. It's going to complement your skin tone or your makeup. Guys, do you remember why did I apply uh, foundation? Why did you cover her lips with foundation? Huh? You want, to, you want to change the shape? Yeah. Okay. Not always. Uh, the last question, and by the way, I'm a long, comfortable answer, uh, asking, so let's get that. Just letting the person know who's watching the last. What is the question? Uh, I don't know, but it had the word nude in it, so I'm not comfortable nude? with it. Yeah, it had the word nude, nude in it. Nude Uh, yeah, or something pale, and that was a little bit... Yeah, there are so many nude uh, eyeshadows or nude lips, uh, nude okay. lipsticks. It's, a, it's normal. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, nude is my favorite. No makeup, makeup is my favorite, like the Chanel style. When you saw, when you see tutorials for Lancome or Yves Saint Laurent, they never apply clown makeup. They always enhance their beauty, right? But oh. it, it depends on the gifts, right? You should be able to do something uh, heavier or more dramatic and nude makeup. Everything is important. Uh, yeah, she asked about uh, for nude lipstick for someone who has pale skin and doesn't want her skin to look too pale. Maybe a tiny bit of peachy or a little bit of uh, pinkish. Okay. Not grayish. Um, do you know how they, they line it before they do the test? Like, you know how you do like, the, the two little lines so, like, on the bottom? What does that change? Like, what does it do? Maybe it's just uh, to help them to achieve the perfect line. Just a guide line. Like they do like a dense there on yeah, just oh, yeah, the side. Yeah, yeah. Just open up. Now we can open up. Yeah. We have someone from uh, Kurdistan watching. Okay. Are you familiar with that? No. Open up. That's uh, an area that's a debate between Iraq and Turkey. So, interesting you... area. <laughs> so, now. This is a very important part for a uh, resident application. To make sure you work on this part. One more tip. Don't if you do open up the if you do make the lips bigger, just try to not make their lips pointy. As long as if it's not period makeup. Okay? Even if they have this this shape, pointy, cupid bone, try to make them more rounded. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to check with my clients. What about if your cupid bows are pointing? That's what I said. Try no. to avoid this. Uh, oh, okay. Don't uh, exaggerate. Try to make it more rounded. So in this case, I'm pretty happy with her form. Now it's time to apply lipstick. If you work on your clients, make sure you don't apply directly from the lipstick. You scoop a little bit on your metal plate. What? One second. I can make it. Just give me one second. I got it. So I'm going to scoop a little bit. But uh, again, make sure it's enough pro uh, product. Because it has to be perfect. 
and don't do with the very moisture red lipsticks because it's gonna smear and it's never look beautiful. So now I'm using the side of my brush to make the eyeliner more sharp. Now I'm going to be quiet in order to, to make a perfect line. Well, there, yes, there will be other events like this. We hope to have more events like this. Thank you for asking. It seems like you're enjoying it. I appreciate it. Invite your friends and followers, by the way. That does help. You know, the more, the merrier. I uh, was talking to Ruby, who's watching. <laughs> yep. Wow, well, thanks for harding this. If you click on the share button, you'll probably see your scroll right. You can share it and invite people. Yes. Thanks. Appreciate it. Roxy, where are you watching from? I mean, Ruby, where are you watching from? Your phone's greatly appreciated. It's very easy. Just tap your finger and we do it better. You can use disposable ones or after you apply mascara, you can clean this brush. So, my job now is not just apply mascara, to stick her own lashes with the false lashes put down.
What's the best mascara for lashes that aren't naturally curled? Uh, They're curled? Yeah, they aren't naturally curled. Mm. What is better for an oily face, gel or powder um, brows? Um, pomade. It's like um, it's a special structure of the product. It's like uh, it's gonna give you kind of tattoo makeup, but it doesn't look that heavy as a tattoo. But it's, it's gonna stick to your skin. But anyway, you cover on the top with the powder eyebrow. And if you want it removed, do you have to get laser surgery? No. That was a joke. It was no, a joke. No, no. It was a it's joke. A, it's a makeup. It's it was a, a joke. It was a tattoo. Like I was this. just kidding. I was kidding. I was only kidding. <laughs> We're about to set the brows. What do you think about skin? It's not that pale anymore, right? With red lips and uh, eyelashes and false lashes, right? But uh, do you think we still need to work a little bit on their eye area? But you can always make them cooler. Someone says she looks stunning. Yeah. Of course she's gorgeous. Yeah. Well, Yana actually, she's uh, perfect. She has perfect features for any kind of makeup. You can do anything with her. And on camera, she's very gorgeous. On my face, other than natural, you cannot do anything because I don't have that much space on the eyelid. And one of my eyes you know, is a little bit droopy. So whenever you want to perform, whenever you want to show your makeup, you need this kind of uh, models. Like when you do something exaggerated. All right, all right. I'm gonna highlight the brow bone. I'm gonna work under uh, under eye area and we are done. It could be a little bit shimmery or just matte, but make sure it's a, like a highlighter. You can even 
going to apply a little bit of concealer to highlight the brow bone and then uh, lighter eyeshadows. But in this case, she doesn't, she didn't flat her eyebrows, so that I don't want to apply foundation on her uh, eyebrows. Okay. Usually, the eyebrow shades come with shades of brown, but if I want like really dark, like black eyebrows, then what should I do? When people have a uh, black hair, you never use black color for eyebrows. It's always one shade lighter. If they're very uh, pale, they're blonde, you do one shade darker. You don't do white eyebrows. And never black, okay? Nina, someone said that you're stunning as well. She, she said, and she said that you've done a great job, so. Thank you, thank you very much. And what's your website? NinaMoa.com. The same Instagram, NinaMoa. So, NinaMuA.com. Yeah. And apply directly, and then I'm going to spray alcohol. What if you have fine lines? How would you apply con or apply conceal so it wouldn't crack? So in this case, you kind of wanted to avoid because it's going to appear even more. I know. Uh, I hope you've noticed that from the moment you apply, make you look a little bit older. So less makeup, you look younger. When I was 13, I, w I used to do a very heavy makeup. Now, I don't feel comfortable, but on camera, looks amazing. Heavier makeup looks perfect. Nobody never gonna recognize you. <laughs> but in real life, of course, for the, uh, everyday makeup doesn't look wow because you don't wanna uh, shock people, right? <laughs> So, so, what about if you don't have makeup? What about using Photoshop? That was a joke, too. <laughs> Actually, uh, that was a joke about Photoshop. I do use Photoshop, but when you have a base, at least something, your Photoshop is going to be invisible. But when you Photoshop a lot, it's cheesy. In, in these days, nobody likes a very a super Photoshop photos. They want to see the truth, you know, the uh, letter. A little bit raw uh, pictures, not uh, like a blurry Photoshop picture. A tiny bit with the good taste. And photographers, they usually they don't like to remove. They want to build as well. So if you have too too much makeup, it's challenging for them. If you have a right one, tiny bit, they always can build. But they need those cheekbones. They need a little bit shadows. They need base, then they can, they're willing to do some correction. And uh, do I need to set my under eye area? What is the best? Yes. Yes, we do need. Otherwise,
right to spin a case. So I'm going to be using HD powder micro uh, definition. But since it's HD, you have to be very careful. You have to blend very well. Otherwise, I don't know if you ha have you ever seen on Google pictures of celebrities that they have a white, yeah. So it reflects the camera, the flashlight, and it's going to appear like a white under eye hair. So make sure it's not too much. So before I set with powder, I tap, you can even use the tip of your finger, and you set. So she wouldn't recommend too much baking as in This is like the Benai baking on banana powder. Banana powder has talc. This is HD, uh, it doesn't have a talc, it's more like a silk. You won't see any powder. So it is different. And I'm gonna use a little bit more luminizer. Setting, what's the best setting spray? My favorite is Scandinavian and the uh, matte Scandinavian. Why? Because it works as a primer and as a setting spray. And matte, I just like it because uh, it smells good <laughs> and fits very well. So I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer. Said, oh, la, I guess she's from Latin America. Or something. Okay, guys, um, what I'm gonna recommend you if you're into makeup, just enjoy your life, do makeup. Maybe not necessary to go to makeup school, but I think it's very important for every single woman to have some knowledge because it doesn't matter uh, what profession you have, you have to appear professionally. So. I think uh, it's very important to learn, even by yourself. Before I, I start to work uh, as a makeup artist, I've been doing makeovers on my friends for so many years. Because I enjoyed it. And then I got knowledge because of people. 
because I was uh, participating. I've learned from every single person. And it's a very, um, it's very impressive when people are uh, getting made over by you and they're, they're saying, oh my God, I'm beautiful. It's priceless, right? How long did it take you to become a makeup artist? Someone wants to know. Three months. Really? Okay. Uh, one month and a half for my first course. And then I started to work and I realized I wanted to uh, have more knowledge and it took more advanced. Okay. Uh, my Instagram is Nina Moi. Okay. Follow our school. Maybe you're going to learn uh, more. And. Uh Oh, all, all women.com. The site. The site. Oh, the all site. All women. Uh -huh. Yes. And um, this is the collaboration with uh, our friends, all women's. All women's Owns talk. All women's talk .com. And what should, what would you like to say to an aspiring makeup artist? I would say, if you, uh, I would say, you are good enough to be a makeup artist. This world is very um, um, this world is magical. You can you can have in this life anything you want. Just do something for yourself because nobody never gonna knock at your door and never gonna give it to you. Just make sure I think if you have some instinct it's a right uh, it's a right decision for yourself but you have to do something. Uh, I think if you've got it in your heart more than two times, it's a signal. It's your mission and you have to complete it. Thank you. Thank you.